Hi guys, in this video I'll demonstrate how to use the arithmetic compound operators for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulo operator. If you're interested in the increment or decrement operators, such as plus plus or minus minus, please check out my other video. I put a link in the description below. Let's start out with the compound operators. I declare a variable of type int named a and I initialize it to 10. In many programs, we want to update a variable based on its current value. For example, we may want to perform addition, and in this case, uh, I use a and I want to add 2 to it. So we perform a plus 2 and then save the result back into a. In this case, we have the variable on the right hand side of the assignment and on the left hand side. And it's the it's the uh, left operand of the arithmetic operation. What we can do instead here is we can do a plus equal to. This saves us a little bit of typing. Not so much uh, when the variable name is just a, but if it's a long variable name, we don't have to spell it out twice. And once you get used to it, this is much easier to type and easier to read too. You want to be careful that you do not do this. Um, you don't want to do a equals plus two. What this means, um, it's just a simple assignment of a equals two. This essentially is take a positive two and assign it to a. Be always careful when you use the compound operators that the operator is on the left side of the assignment. Now with the addition, we can do the same with subtraction. Let's say we want to subtract 5 from a. We have a minus 5 and we assign the result back into a. We see now that a is on both sides of the assignment. So we can abbreviate this with the compound operator. How would we write this? You guessed it, we write minus equal five. Again, not equal minus. The arithmetic operator has to come before the assignment. Now in this case, I use two and five. They're just arbitrary. I, we could use obviously any number. We can also use a variable. Let's do this with the example when we go over multiplication. Let's say I introduce a new variable named b and I assign 3 to it. And now we have a equals a multiplied by b. Again, a is on both sides of the assignment. So we can abbreviate this with the compound operator. And how would we write this? You guessed it, multiplied equals b. So here we can really use um, any variable, any value, it doesn't matter, as long as our um, variable is on both sides of the assignment operator. We can do the same with division. A equals A divided by 2. Now we would write this A divided equals 2. And last but not least, we had the mod operator. So here we would do a equals a mod 3, and we would write this a mod equals 3. So it works for any of the arithmetic operators. We want to be careful, though, that also, so I, I pointed out, we, we want to be careful with the order of the arithmetic operator and the, and the assignment operator. We also want to be careful if we have something like a equals 3 divided by a. We should not abbreviate this with a divided equal 3, because then we are flipping the operands, right? We perform, here we perform 3 divided by a, and here we perform a divided by 3. So if, if we have um, subtraction, uh, it, it matters if we have Division, it matters. If we have the mod operator, it matters. 
obviously, if we have addition or multiplication, um, the, the op left hand operand and the right hand operand uh, doesn't matter as much. So if we have a multiplied by 3 versus 3 multiplied by a, that's the same thing. So we want to pay attention to that as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other video on the increment and decrement operators such as plus plus and minus minus. Thank you for watching.